Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today I'm going to start with part two in my video series about hormones and testing all them. And uh, this is part two. If you haven't seen part one yet or, or listened to it, please do so now. And in part one of the video series, I gave you an overview of why most hormone blood tests done by your doctor are just a complete waste of time and money because they're only testing for maybe one or two hormones. Thus, it's done in isolation and you do not see how all the hormones interact with each other. If they don't, the doctor basically doesn't do the most important hormones so you can actually figure out exactly where the problem is or the imbalance is and thus know how to actually fix it. In today's video, part two, I'm going to list all the best and essential hormones to test for and why. And then finally, part three, the next uh, video, I will give you places that you can actually go to do these blood tests. You can go online. You can do this all without a doctor or prescription, and it's super easy, and I'll give you different prices and options and so forth. And before getting started, I'm going to let you know that I'm going to separate, separate the hormones into different sections and categories. Uh, and yes, there are additional hormones to test for that I could have listed them, but it would have gotten very detailed and, of course, very expensive. Also, the next couple minutes may get a little bit technical for some of you, but honestly, I'm not too worried because I know my viewers are pretty smart. However, I have kept it short and tried to simplify things as much as possible. And at the end, I will finish with a quick summary. And one thing before I start, I haven't listed the ranges or used any specific numbers. This is because you know blood tests vary from one company to the next, let alone different countries. However, if you do want me to, I can go over one of my own blood tests in a future video and you can exactly, you know, see exact ranges and ideal numbers and I'll, you know, give you all the details about myself. If you want that, just mention it below in the comment section that you want this done for a video. Lastly, the best time to do your blood test is ideally first thing in the morning when you get up. Uh, make sure the day that you do it is on a normal day, all right? Don't do it if you got really crappy sleep the night before because it'll change the results. Also, don't do it if you haven't worked out for a long time or if you had a really hard workout the night or the day before. Just do it on a regular day on your regular lifestyle, not the best day or the worst day, so you get regular um, results. All right, so let's get started. First, we're going to start with the steroid sex hormones. This is, you want to test for your testosterone, both the total and free testosterone levels. Obviously, you know, testosterone is for building muscle, fat loss, strength, sex drive, cognitive function, and so forth. Ideally, you want these on the higher limit. Then we have dihydrotestosterone, DHT, and this is a converts, testosterone converts to DHT, and this is, list, this is connected to libido, but also hair loss, excess of body hair, prostate growth, even gynecomastia. Then we have your FSH and LH, and these are follicle, follicle stimulating hormones and luteinizing hormone. This tells you how well your testicles are working. And then we have your sex hormone binding globulin, and this tells you if you're, you know, how free your testosterone le level is, the health of your uh, hypothalamus, pituitary, te testicular uh, axis, and so forth. Um, then we have the female hormones, estrogen. We have total uh, estrogen, and then more importantly, we have estradiol. And you want to always test for sensitive as well as total. The sensitive is for us guys. If you do regular estradiol, it's not as sensitive because it's made for women, and you're not going to get accurate results. Progesterone is another female hormone. This isn't a, a must, but I put it in there. I also do prolactin. This is uh, connected to... Uh, low sex drive. Also, if you have man boobs or gynecomastia, it's important to test for. It's, prolactin is also uh, related to libido and mood and actually erectile dysfunction. Uh, we have two other uh, hormones. We have DHEA and then S. Uh, you, it's connected to sex drive, stamina, uh, cognition, and cortisol. Uh, it's it's um, your stress hormone. Actually, saliva test is better. It's, it's more accurate than blood test, but if you can do it, do it. And again, cortisol is related to stress, belly fat, low testosterone, blood sugar, mood, and so forth. Now we have our thyroid hormones. This is really important. Thyroid affects everything in the body, including your testosterone levels. Um, you have your TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. Normally doctors only test for that. It's worthless. You also want to mainly test for T4, uh, the free, T3 free, as well as T3 reverse. Okay, these are your, your important uh, thyroid hormones, the most important being your T3. Then we have your endocrine you know, hormones and markers. These are, again, optional uh, tests. If you can afford it, great. Vitamin D, I definitely suggest you do it. You do the vitamin D, 25-hydroxy. And yes, vitamin D is a hormone, and it's not a vitamin. 
You want your fasting glucose level, which tests your blood sugar levels. You want your hemoglobin A1C, and this is basically like a, a three-month snapshot or summary of your blood sugar levels, which is a good indicator. Um, insulin levels, and also your IGF-1. This is basically, uh, it measures how active your growth hormone levels are. And then we have the uh, IGF binding, the insulin-like growth factor binding proteins, and this tells you how free or active your IGF levels are. And finally, we have prostate. This is for guys over the age of 40. It's optional again, but if you can, you know, over the age of 40, do it. You do your PSA, PSA free, and PSA percentage free. Okay, so there you have it. Yes, I know there's a lot to test for, but this is how it's done correctly. All these hormones interact with each other, and thus, by testing them all together, you'll get a clear picture and how to make adjustments to see and feel the improvements. However, in the next video, I'll show you where to go to do all this at once so you don't have to go around different places selecting each of these different blood tests individually. Listen, just like a business, you want to maximize your revenue and minimize your expenses. You want to do the same with your hormones. You want to increase the positive hormones while decreasing the negative ones. And by balancing and optimizing your hormones, you'll look, feel, and perform so much better year after year while minimizing illnesses and diseases. Anyways, I've got uh, links below this video for more details about balancing and optimizing your hormones naturally, as well as the link to the final part three of these hormone blood test series, where uh, I'll reveal for you to go get the different blood tests you want and do so without a doctor or prescription. It'll be really easy and simple.